Yo, what's up guys, FaZe Rug here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys 10 things that I can't live without. What is going on everybody? Brandon here, AKA Bawadis, and today I'm gonna show you guys 10 things I cannot live without. This has actually been requested a lot. You guys wanna know what I use day to day to live. So we're gonna just get right into it. So first things first, okay? I need my cereal. Every single day, I have at least two bowls of cereal. Don't ask why, ever since I was a kid, I've just loved cereal to death. These are my three favorites. We got Raisin Bran, which a lot of people told me that this is like an old people cereal, which like, I don't agree. Like, look at this, it's heart healthy, all right? I'm trying to take care of my heart. Raisin Bran is up there with my favorites. I love, love Cocoa Pebbles. And last but not least, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, twice a day at least. Actually, last night I had four bowls of cereal, so uh. Why the Raisin Bran? Like, that's hey, all. Hey, don't talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know I'm not the only young person who eats Raisin Bran. If you're out there, if you're a Raisin Bran eater, smash that like button and comment the word Bran. I know I have people out there that eat Raisin Bran. Not just me, all right? There's gonna be like four likes. You realize that, right? Let me guess, let me guess. Basketball is one of them. Bro, surprisingly, actually, none of the things are basketball that I'm gonna say today. No way. Yeah. All right, guys, the first item that I absolutely, positively cannot live without is a basketball. Everybody already knows I will play basketball every single day whether it's outdoors on this hoop at my local gym in a little men's league That me and my friends play at I play basketball every single day and this right here is definitely something that I cannot live without And since we're on the topic of food, this is an essential candy I need on my diet are Trolley's Sour Bright Octopus. Literally the greatest candy ever invented. And if you guys wanna know specific colors, blue and green is my favorite. Oh my God, oh my God, so good. I mean, I'm not promoting like where you guys eat candy a lot, but this is at least something that I need in my life every day. I think I have like 10 more upstairs. I should have brought them down, but yep. Sour Bright Octopus, my favorite candy. Do you have any nominations that would come in after that? For candy? Yeah, for candy. Definitely. I love purple Skittles as well. This barely beat the purple Skittles. I don't like original Skittles. The purple ones though, the berry flavored, I love. The next couple of things I absolutely cannot live without is my laptop and my camera. For those who don't know, I am a YouTuber. Go subscribe at Brawadis. I make YouTube videos, so I cannot live without my camera. I use this thing every single day. I edit all my own stuff, so I cannot live without my laptop. No matter where I go, travel, staying home, my friend's house, I always carry my laptop with me and my camera with me every day, everywhere I go. Definitely cannot live without these two items. Since we talked about candy in the last one, this is another essential I need every single day. This is actually a water pick. It's like a floss, but a water floss. How does it work? You ready? Basically put warm water in here. Oh, 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 <laughs> wait, I forgot you're not allowed to take it out. You grab this, you turn it on, and it should do this. But then you do this. All jokes aside, this is highly recommended by every dentist, at least mine. I just started using it about two years ago consistently. Haven't had any cavities, haven't had any like gum problems. It's actually fun. Like it's like a more fun process to brush your teeth. I cannot live without this. The next thing I cannot live without is candy. Mm -hmm. But I could eat candy. Literally, I don't need breakfast, lunch. I live. I just live off candy, bro. <laughs> I don't need burgers and eggs and fries and pasta. I love, oh my God, candy. Yeah, what's your favorite candy? Any candy that comes my way, I'm gonna eat it. But yeah, candy cannot live without. One thing I could live without though, and I don't mind if I never have to eat this for the rest of my life. Hey! The raisin bread. Hey! I don't know which weirdo creeps eat raisin hey! What is that? Oh. Glad you asked because this is another one of my essential items. You'd actually use it as a towel, but it's not a towel because it is a robe. A robe with phase rug engraved in the back. This is what I look like with it on. 
I wear this robe every single morning. Grab my cup of coffee. For your head. Ah! Be attack my ear, bro. <laughs> this was actually a gift by my cousin Gilbert when we moved into this brand new house. And this is definitely one of the most comfortable robes ever. Like you could just see, can you feel it cameraman? I wear this every day. I need it. It's beautiful. Next thing I cannot live without. Check. Hey guys. This is my ex-girlfriend, but unlike a lot of other relationships, we're still really close, we're still really friends, and I absolutely cannot live without Jackie because Aww. just go through my channel, scroll through all my titles and thumbnails. Jackie, she carries my channel. She has a backpack on her back that says Barwada. She carries the hell up. out of my channel. So I definitely cannot live without the ex-girlfriend title and thumbnails. Jackie, thank you so much. Now, nah, but really guys, she's a really, really close friend of mine. And even though we're broken up, I can't live without Jackie. She's always there for me. She supports me. She's there when I need to talk to somebody. And Jackie, I appreciate you. Hey. Next up, we got my speaker. Oh my God, I love you so much. Guys, I cannot live without my speaker. Every single day, every time I shower, every time I play basketball, every time I'm doing something, I need to listen to music. And this right here is fire. It's literally a boom box. Yeah, can you throw on like one of your favorite songs for us? Favorite songs, copyrighted or non-copyrighted? Uh, we could go non-copyrighted. We get litty like a candle. Party frame, Gucci flannel. Yup. Feel good up and not the famo. Woo! See me grinding on my channel. Oh, yeah. I just pulled up in that Lambo. So yeah, the speaker is very high quality. By the way, none of these brands hit me up to like say any of this. This is just literally what I use on a daily basis. So this speaker is pretty good. And if you guys like that song, you know, we might have a new song on the way. Next thing on my list is chapstick. <laughs> Bird's Beast to be specific. Bro, my lips are addicted to this thing right here. If I go an hour or even 30 minutes without using chapstick, I start panicking. Guys, where's my chapstick? Where's my chapstick? Oh, I've literally driven 20 or 30 minutes away from the house, realized I don't have my chapstick on me and driven all the way back home to come pick it up. Matter of fact, guys, sometimes I lose my chapstick and I don't like that. I don't like losing my chapstick. So I actually have a secret hidden spot where I keep chapstick so that no one in my family finds them and uses them. Follow me, I'll show you guys. Nobody in my family knows this until they watch this video, but inside these shoes right here, I keep my backup chapsticks in case I ever lose this one. I got two more. All right, let's go continue the video. Next up, we got the soap that I use and the face wash that I use every single day. So we got the Dial antibacterial soap. The only soaps that I trust are the ones that actually say antibacterial and kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. A year ago, or even a few months ago, I used to only use soap that smelled good. You know, like Bath and Body Works or like, like just stuff that smelled good. But I mean, with everything going on around in the world right now, like I've taken this more serious. Like this, I trust 100%. It'll take away all the bacteria and, and it actually smells pretty good too. I use this soap and only this soap. I order like 10 or 20 of these at a time from Amazon. And for my face wash, this is actually the most frequently asked question on my YouTube channel. You guys always ask, what face wash do I use? I mean, like, as you can see, I still have like some acne. It's like scarring though, because I used to have acne back in the day. I still get some here and there, you know? But the face wash that I use and recommend is called Origins Checks and Balances. It feels amazing on your face, super, super smooth. Like it'll feel like a baby's butt after. I use this every single day, twice a day, highly recommend. And I feel like it lightens some of my acne scarring as well, which is like almost impossible to get rid of so these are the two that I use every day next thing on my list I have a few items This right here is a game worn jersey by Devin Booker. He actually gave this to me when I went to his house last year. He also gave me his game worn shoes. He signed them too. These are the shoes he wore in the three point contest from All Star Weekend. Devin Booker is somebody that I look up to. The fact that, you know, he's gifted me some of these items when I went to his house. I look at these and I'm like, damn, you know, I got these from a role model to me. These definitely belong on my list. Now, this next one right here is probably one of my favorite essentials. We got Sour Blue Chug Rug. And I 
promise you I am not paid to say any of this, but I actually drink this every single day. They just made a can version of this, which is my G Fuel flavor. I have my own energy drink for those who don't know. I use it every single day before I film, every day before I play video games, pretty much before I do anything because it gives me like natural energy and has zero sugar, as you can see. This actually comes out on April 15th, which is tomorrow. So like, I'm super, super excited. Gfuel.com. And this is definitely something that I'm proud of because ever since G Fuel was a thing, I've always dreamt about having my own flavor. The fact that I have my own flavor and I'm on the can, like that's me on the can. Literally a dream come true. So, you know, I love it. Everyday essential sour blue chug rub. Next thing I cannot live without. Hold on, give me a second. Next thing I can't live without, Paul the Barber. Paul is my barber, that's my guy. For those who don't know, I get haircuts every single week at least, sometimes two times a week. Bro, if I go more than one week without a haircut, I won't leave my house. Let me give Paul a little appreciation call real quick. Hey, what up, P? You like the hoodie? <laughs> Hey, we're matching. I just wanted to let you guys know we're doing a little, you know, 10 things that I absolutely can't live without. I cannot live without you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know. Hey, we can't live without you either. Can you come cut my hair since I cut your hair? Oh, you want me to? I don't think you want me to cut your hair, P. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye guys. Yeah, I have a hoodie with my barber's name on it. It's not, you know, anything, just my barber's name on a hoodie. Next up, we got my cologne and deodorant. I mentioned this in a video a few days ago. Sometimes when I meet fans, they say that I smell really good, which I appreciate, you know. Gotta smell good, look good every day. But my favorite, favorite cologne of all time is this Invictus Trophy Cologne. Smells super, super good. It's like a fruity scent slash sweet. Gotta keep that thing on me. And then we got the matching deodorant. It's called Invictus as well. I use this every day. Smells really, really good. If you guys ever do get this, tweet at me or message me or something. I want your guys' opinion, but been using these for like the past three years. Now. Can I take a smell of that deodorant? Of course. <laughs> yeah, that's that smells amazing. It hits different, for, right? For real. It smells like Faze Rug. Like, every time someone smells this, they're like, where's Brian? Next thing I cannot live without are my old work uniforms. Subway sandwich artist, Hagen grocery store. Yes, I was a bagger pushing the carts and all that good stuff. People might find it weird. Brandon, why can't you live without your old work uniform? So over the past couple years, I've lived in an apartment. I lived at our old house. I've came and lived here. And no matter where I live, I always be sure to bring these with me because looking at these work uniforms, it always reminds me life wasn't always this good there was a time just a couple years ago when i was working regular jobs like subway and a grocery store just like a lot of other people out there it's just very humbling it reminds me where i started it reminds me that you really do start from the bottom and move your way up so i will always keep my old work uniforms just to remind myself that it wasn't always like this this is where everything started right here next up we got a notebook I know you guys are probably like, why do you use a notebook? Like you could do everything on your phone. Actually, I don't know why I like to keep this old school, but I write a ton of my video ideas in this notebook, grab my cup of coffee, chilling in the backyard, looking at the view. And that's where I get my best ideas. I always need like a nice calm and peaceful setting to think of my video ideas. That's where I get the best ones. And I write them in this notebook and then I try to like structure them and stuff like that. But I definitely need this notebook every day. Better to look at rather than like your small phone. But speaking of a cell phone, I mean, obviously I wasn't I'm gonna add this but like obviously this is an essential I need my phone every single day I'm a social media influencer like I need to check my social medias need to stay updated on everything on this phone so speaking of the phone like what's the last picture you have on your phone <laughs> the last picture I have <laughs> Let me see. The last picture I took on my phone was a picture of my shower. I know, pretty weird, but I'm actually remodeling my whole entire room. We're gonna make my room lit, okay? That's gonna be a whole different video, a new room tour, but yeah, this was taken this morning at 9.47 a.m. Next thing I can't live without, this TV remote. A lot of people might think that's weird because if you know me, you know that I don't watch any movies, I don't watch Netflix, I don't watch TV shows. So why is a TV remote so important? Well, there's one thing I watch. I watch 
Phoenix Suns games or basketball games every single day. That's all I use my TV for. That's all I use this remote for. Even though the season is canceled and the season is suspended, you know what I have all over my TV? You know what I have recorded? If you go through all the recordings on my TV, we got Suns vs. Portland, Suns vs. Bucks, Suns vs. Portland again, Suns vs. Raptors, Suns vs. Warriors. Literally all the recordings on my TV are all Phoenix Suns games. Next up, we got a hat. Now this is something that I need for sure because I have a lot of bad hair days. This is definitely OG rug vibes. I used to wear a hat every day. Yeah, I mean, if my hair is looking good, I don't need it. If it's bad, you got something to cover it up. Being on camera 24 seven, you gotta be looking good. So definitely a hat is a necessity. Next up, and I'm sure you guys all know this, but. Basketball shorts. I cannot live without basketball shorts. I hate wearing jeans. I hate wearing joggers. I hate wearing sweatpants. Actually, the number one reason I haven't got married yet is because, you know, the day I get married, my wife's family is going to be upset that I'm going to wear basketball shorts. So I got to find a wife that her parents wouldn't mind me going to the wedding in basketball shorts. But I have separate categories that I have them split into. And people think I'm crazy for that, but that's just how I am. And the last essential item. This is important. I need this. I need this. It's my boy Globby. I were just like exploring San Diego. We went to a toy store and we found these little stress relief things called Globby. And since then, I've kept this with me every time I needed to film. Ever since I got Globby, my life has changed and improved tremendously. This thing has just kept me on my feet. He motivates me to make YouTube videos all the time too. If I'm feeling down, he sparks up my day. So I appreciate you, Globby. Okay, Booker, you're gonna be featured in a phase rug video. Is that okay with you? You give consent? So Booker here, who's my dog, Devin Booker's sister, Maya, she actually picked out the name for my dog, so shout out to Maya. Booker is definitely something I can't live without. Every single day, whether I'm coming home from the gym or finishing up my video, the one thing I look forward to is seeing my dog, playing with my dog, seeing him grow up. He's growing up to be such a good dog. Can you say something to the Rugrats? Speak. But guys, that is definitely something I can't live without. I love my dog. Booker, you gotta close out this segment because those are my 10 items that I absolutely cannot live without. And those are the 10 essential items I need to live my life every single day. I hope you guys enjoy. Lambo, I'm so hot I need a fan on. In Diego in the sando. Walk around in Gucci sandals. G Wagon, I pull up like skirt. And I put that Louis V on my shirt. Thinking down me cause I know my worth. 